Hello everyone, welcome back to the Daily Dunk Shot brought to you by Cadillac of New Orleans. Well, by now you likely have heard about the injury news to Saints cornerback Keenan Lewis. He's out four to six weeks with a hip injury, which means he's not going to be available for the early tough run for the Saints uh, early reg regular season schedule. Uh, there's no way to sugarcoat this. It's a serious blow to the Saints secondary, which is already been depleted by injuries. Lewis' injury is now the sixth injury uh, of the preseason. We haven't even gotten to the regular season yet, and the Saints' uh, fortified back end is already uh, taken on attrition. Uh, Lewis, of course, was the Saints' best cover corner that they had, uh, and that's a, a severe blow for, for them, no, no question about it. Uh, Brandon Browner has a knee injury that he suffered uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. He's expected back at some point, uh, but you just wonder, a guy that's had some injury history as well, <clears throat> how how much he's going to be close to 100% after taking that helmet to the knee against the Ravens. Uh, speed was not his strength to begin with, and so I worry about Brandon Browner making it through the season. And the Saints, of course, have also lost uh, their rookie cornerback, P.J. Williams, the third-round draft pick out of Florida State, who they drafted to provide depth just in case of injuries to their starting crew. Uh, so uh, P.J. Williams has been placed on IR. He's not going to be available. So the Saints are already really getting thin at the cornerback position. Uh, the injuries, of course, at, at, at safety position, they've lost Vinny Sinceri uh, to a knee injury. Kenny Vaccaro has been banged up. Now he's supposed to be okay, and we still don't know what the heck is going on with Jairus Bird. They say he's going to be back sooner rather than later, but you just have to wonder how long is it going to be before Bird suffers another injury and doesn't make it through a 16-game schedule. I mean, this is the third year in a row that he's missed significant time because of a different kind of injury. So it, uh, bad news all around for the Saints secondary. And this was a position or a position group, I should say, that was uh, considered to be a strength of the team going into this year. The Saints worked hard at bolstering that position. They brought in Browner. They drafted Damian Swan, P.J. Williams, uh, and they wanted to get Jairus Bird back healthy. So this was supposed to be the strength of the Saints' defense uh, and allow them maybe to get more creative up front uh, with their pass rush schemes because they were going to play a lot more single high safety and, uh, due to the strength of their coverage ability on the outside. I'm wondering now how this affects Rob Ryan and Sean Payton, how they, how they go into the games now with the game plan, whether they're going to play enough man-to-man uh, -man coverage. That was the plan going in. Are they going to feel confident in the corners to hold up in man-to-man -man coverage and play this scheme that they planned on playing all year long without Keenan Lewis in the lineup, who clearly was their best cover corner? Uh, Brandon Browner, if, if he does come back, will team with uh, Delvin Bro, who has been the, the rave of the offseason for the Saints. There's no question he's been the most uh, prized newcomer that the Saints have brought in. We're going to find out a lot about Delvin Bro and Brandon Browner in week one when they go to Arizona because they have a, a, a top-notch receiving core with Larry Fitzgerald and John Brown, and they will surely test the Saints, especially when you get down to the third corner, who right now looks like it will probably be uh, uh, Damian Swan. I'm not sure Kyle Wilson also competing for that nickel spot, but you can rest assured that the Arizona Cardinals are going to come out in a lot of three-receiver sets and test those young guys, either Damian Swan or Kyle Wilson as the nickelback. Lots and lots to think about for the Saints coaching staff here in the next few weeks. No way you can sugarcoat this. Big blow to the Saints secondary without Keenan Lewis. Uh, but they do have the depth right now to, to uh, withstand it. They just have no margin for error back there right now. They cannot afford any more injuries on the back end. And we'll see how it plays out. And we'll see how the Saints coaching staff adjusts uh, going forward. Because that's really the key to all this. They have time now to fortify a game plan going into the regular season, but it, it comes down to the coaching staff and how they adjust to their personnel. I'm sure Mike McCarthy and his staff are doing the same thing up in Green Bay uh, without Jordy Nelson and, of course, without uh, Randall Cobb in the, in the interim. Uh, it's part of the game, injuries, and uh, the best coaching staffs are able to adjust, but this is a tough one for the New Orleans Saints. All right, that's it for the Daily Dunk Shot. I'll be back again Friday with my fearless football forecast right here at NOLA.com. Take care.